Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to show you how to fix a code related to driver side uh, driver side seat belt on a Volkswagen Jetta or Golf MK5. I'll share the code in the description below. You can check it out. So what happened actually is the driver side seat, ba seat belt buckle right here. That's what that's what is causing the problem. This one right here. But in order to remove it you will need to remove the, the seat, the driver side seat to do that. And we'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so we need an M10 to, okay, you can see this one right here, that's what it looks like. In order to remove four bolts on the seat, seat rails, Okay, one of them is out. You have two on the front and two on the back. Stay with us, we'll show you where exactly they are. Make sure you, you disconnect the battery while you're working on, uh, on the seat and it's part of the airbag system. Unfortunately, this one is a two-door, so we have less room to show you, but it's still, still visible. Okay, you can see the other board is right there. And there is uh, one more on the other side. Now we have the wires underneath the seat, right here, so we need to go ahead and disconnect those uh, and you can see, okay, actually they are right here, the plugins are right here, so you can just uh, go ahead and remove it from here, okay, if you pull like that now and you should be able to, okay, so now uh, if you push that black piece towards the front, you can pull that wiring out okay like that and then we need to do one more okay this one and we'll have the wires out now we need to disconnect them from this loop here so just open like that and now we can go ahead and pull the whole seat out okay you see just grab it and pull it out of the vehicle okay just like that now and we'll show you how to remove and replace the uh, the seat belt buckle, which is located right there. So we need an M8 now, and if you screw the seat all the way to come to the back, you can see that one, it needs to be all the way to the back. You can access, the bolt is located right here. So go ahead, take it off now. It's not very long bolt, you need to have that M10 to M8 actually. Don't attempt to remove it with anything else because you're going to damage it. Okay, that's what the bolt looks like. It has to have a thread walk on it. And now we can just pull it out. All we need to do now is just disconnect the wire. And uh, we'll be ready to install the new one. This one you can actually use a little screwdriver and pull it out. Okay, because it's just a clip. And right here you need to disconnect it from this side. Uh, you need to push in and pull out. Okay, and... The buckle, the seat belt buckle is right here. So that's how you remove it guys and now it's time to put it back together. So you just get the new one or the replacement one, we're using one out of a parts car right now. You just install it the same way we took it apart guys and after that we will need to clear the, the airbag coat in order for the light to uh, not be on and stay with us. You can do that with vacuum but we're using maxi seat right here so we'll show you. We will turn it off and see if that fixes the problem. Okay guys, so we have the Maxisys connected. Now we are going to go to trouble codes right here. And that's, uh, okay, it's 0, 0, 0591 actually. It's a passive sporadic, okay, seat belt switch on driver's side, open circuit, okay. We are going to clear it now, ignition on, engine off, so we confirm yes, yes. And now we are just waiting, no fault code detected. So now let's go inside the vehicle actually and see what's happening there if we have a if we have the light on or not. Okay, we're going to go ahead, start it now. Okay, we're going to put the seat belt on. Okay, seat belt on, you can see it buckled up, and there is no airbag light at all on the dash. So that fixed the problem guys, that's, that's how it is, pretty simple, you can do it yourself. 
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.